hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today i'll show you this type of creative logo by the help of the lines and the triangles so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications from here going to the file at first taking new options taking an artboard giving the name is logo and the mood color mode rgb if you want to go to go to the printing purpose make it cmyk otherwise you can make it rgb and hit the create button you'll get and blank artboard that's good and from here line segment tool just draw a line press the shift and hold it you can draw the straight line from here and press the alter option button and drag it you are getting the another copy of this line and after that control d before that you have to count the number which is uh, 12 is good for this and number 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 making them in a group and into middle of the artboard make sure that these align to the artboard is selected and some of the things here the workspace uh, i just kept here uh, the essential classic and you can follow these steps and another one is from the view portion smart guideline and snap to the point these two things is tick mark other thing is non tick mark that's fine select this group right press transform and rotate from here 60 degree is the angle which is the hexagon angle will make this one hexagon and make it copy and select again right press transform and rotation and from here making it minus 60 degree in this case and make it copy so we are getting the hexagon over here that's good now we'll make the logo so for the reference purpose we can take this one taking this one and taking in this window for our preferences so from here at first you have to measure that things this portion we make the s at first that means this portion in the middle and we just given a gap in a middle of one column or one line actually so select this portion and here is the shape builders tool and take a color for your convenient and from here select these three at first and after that giving that like that the thing at first is from here so select this okay and here two lines will take from here and we'll make it bigger like that so this one is our first first letter we just done from here we'll take these three okay and now reverse that means we'll take from here that's good and after taking that we'll make another from here so making it like this so one and two line will make gap yeah that's fine and we'll make this one so be careful when you are making this portion join with each other that's fine and now the this point actually this point now we'll make this point okay or i would suggest you to make this one or you can make your own that's fine or i think that is good and that's good so our logo is ready according to this now time to delete the lines how to delete the lines at a time here is magic one tool select once in a line you will select all the line at a time and delete so we just got the logo like this our logo is done select and group all the stuffs now i'll make this one into the four portion going to the line and taking the line to middle so here make sure that this one to line is middle here the align to the artboard making the middle like this and from the shape tools that means the 
square or the rectangle tool i'll make the logo like that actually background select all the stuffs here is a pathfinder here is expansion divide all the stuffs right press and you are getting the ungroup all the stuffs i'll take this one into the white portion like this and join with each other actually join with them and another one i'll make two colors so from here i'll take this color and from the color palette we'll change it out from here i'll take the darker one that's good and this one i'll make the gradient so from here i'll take this gradient select this gradient this pink and this one actually this portion was like this or this type of color or this one i'll make into blue yeah that's good and g from the keyboard adjustment of the gradient and make the gradient like this now time to just place the logo from here okay make this one into middle of the artboard select all the stuffs and write down the text here go to the text tool select once and make the font size bigger i'll choose the font futura futura font and that is the name okay and making this one into light font that's good okay making a little bit bigger okay that's fine from here make the gap between two letters into 200 that's good select these two things into middle of the artboard right press and create outline after creating outline this one is no longer uh, in now font version that is the vector version now so align it properly into the middle making it group after making it group make the middle according to the artboard and now right press and ungroup this one select this one press i from the keyboard before that you have to turn off the stroke i from the keyboard for the gradient and select the gradient like this g from the keyboard and making it this one and select all the stuffs making it group now and making it smaller and selecting into middle of the output and making all the white colors that's good and another copy into this so this one is the logo presentation for your client you can provide the jpeg file to your client so i'm saving this one to s logo and saving it out the illustrator file and i'll provide this one into a jpeg version so make sure that so just mark the key or shortcut keys on the screen what i just pressed over here and making it save and jpeg files i just made it okay now i want to make the 3d mock-up so here i downloaded the mock-up from prepeak.com i'll provide you that download link in my video description from here uh, just turn off the sample text and the your logo placeholder double click this one you're getting the smart object window and select this logo ctrl c for the copy so in this window ctrl v and pixels and making it small a little bit and make sure that this one into the middle of the artboard that's good and saving this logo and it will save into this window and you can export this one as a like save as options into jpeg version so rename this one and save it out and hit ok so you we are getting the mock-up files and the eps or like ai files you can provide any kind of things i will suggest you to make this one into jpeg file to provide you your client that is better to get uh, more feedback from your client so that's all for today hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question go request please do comment on my video comment section 
Until the next video, I am A7 signing out. Stay safe, stay at home. Bye-bye.